morning everyone. Today is a special day. I'm on the way to my driver awareness because I've been a bad boy. Yes. Just checking the lens. Yes, I have been speeding and um, to save my license, I am doing a speed awareness in my hometown near Portsmouth. Um, this isn't the first one I've done. You can do them every four years. Um, and I think the last couple of points I've had were for literally going five miles over the speed limit in a um, on the A3 there is a um, what you call it when the cameras catch us bloody the, the average, average speed checks well as you're coming into Kingston on the A3 uh, there's an average speed check camera a few of them and um, for the last three years, they haven't been in operation at all. There's no signs, no nothing. So I usually sort of bomb by there, as, so, as well as everyone else going by there at speed. Uh, but about three months ago, they must have barely turned them on without any warning. And um, I've got a ticket. So I've literally, I was on nine up until January this year. So then they went down to three. Then this one would have put me up to six. So I'm because because it's over four years, I could take take another speed awareness um, course. So um, basically, I don't know if any, anyone's been to one. I've been to. This is the second one I've been to. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it's better than going up to six points and having having my insurance go up. Because the amount of miles I'm doing every day to work and back, um, I guess it's like 70 miles up to London, 70 miles back. Um, so the odds are against me. I'm going to get caught somewhere. Because the flow of traffic, everyone's driving faster than the speed limit. That's fact. And even when there's a police car, you know, on the middle lane, people just bomb past him. That's 70 plus. So I just don't get the speed limits. You know, yes, cars, when that speed limit was introduced, probably in the 60s, cars couldn't cope with the speed. You know, a bloody brand new Ferrari went about 120, let alone uh, a bloody Vauxhall Corsa these days can go 140 easily. Braking's better, you know, so you can go quicker in new cars, plus um, the technologies, ABS, um, traction control, all these make braking distances a lot quicker. So I, I do think the speed limit needs to be raised. You know, speed doesn't kill. It's people's awareness and unfortunately, some circumstances like f f mechanical failure, tires blowing out, you know, or the worst thing of all, people texting on their phones. I drove by a girl the other day, literally, she was all over the place, and uh, I looked in, a young girl on the way to work, and she was texting on her phone or on her snapchat or facebook bad it is bad 
you know, yeah, some people say, oh, why am I speaking into the camera here? Well, here's my hands, here's my eyes, I'm driving. It's like, this is like me talking to my friends next door to me, or I'm talking on the hands free. So it's exactly the same. So for everyone who gets upset, me talking to the camera, stop talking on your phone on the hands free. Stop talking to your kids in the back seat. Because it's a lot dangerous uh, when you've got your kids in the back seat and you're you're telling them off, looking over the back, shut up. You know, how many times have you done that? This really pisses people off at LinkedIn, what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, so I'm just on the way to my speed awareness. I don't think they'll let me film in there. No chance, in fact. Um, so, all depends how long it's going to take me to get out, because I've just been told it's a four-hour bloody course. So, um, and when you book yourself in, they take your ID, you sign yourself in, because if you don't turn up, you get your three points. So they're quite strict. Um, so hopefully I'll be out by well, half past 12, one o'clock. And then I may head into the office because it's gonna be, uh, if, I, if I leave at one, I won't get there till two. And then um, I'll, stay, I'll end up staying in the office till nine, 10 at night. I might as well just work from home today. Um, and if it is nice, there's not one cloud in the sky so far, I will have a little sit in the garden, have lunch in the garden or something this afternoon. Um, uh, apart from that, I had a few projects to look at this week. One yesterday was a lady, a Dutch lady, she lived in a, a Fulham house and she's an interior designer. She has done her house beautifully. Unbelievable. That's what she's done. Attention to detail. Awesome. Beautiful kitchen. She's put her kit, it's, a, it's a, a Fulham terrace house on five levels. And uh, she has put her kitchen in the front part of the house. It's a raised ground floor. So her kitchen's in the front, her dining room's at the back awesome looks really cool Lot, patterns everywhere she loves her patterns and, and colors um, and um, she wants us to put an extension in a double extension which is not gonna happen next year but before she wants us to put some she wants to take her existing patio doors out and put crittle doors and to open up the back end a bit so we're gonna we're gonna give her a, we're gonna take the architect next week to have a look and um, that's a little job and um, I did have another job booked in today to view in Cloncurry through Savills, but luckily they cancelled because of, well, they cancelled. And uh, luckily, if that job would have come in to me, I would have bloody probably um, not done this um, speed awareness and I've got my three points. That's how committed I am to winning work. You know, a half a million pound job is worth three points, don't you? So, um, literally, I'm just pulling up to the hotel now. The hotel where this thing is is called the Langston Hotel, and it's on Hailing Island. Let's see. Let's see who is here with me. You know, probably a right bunch of bloody riffraffs. Pulling in. They're all, gonna, they're all probably in their bloody um. Oh no. I know something. I'm bloody hungry. Um. So listen, I will give you a catch up when I'm out of here. Let you know what goes on. But uh, yeah, I'm just finding the parking spot now. So listen. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, I look forward to catching up with you later. See ya!